It's been a hard struggle for me in 2015 because of the fact I've not been able to walk and have been limited in my mobility to the wheelchair. Um, this summer I hoped to uh, ride my bike. Last summer I rode it about 10 miles a day, lost about 40 pounds. I still have more weight to lose, so I was hoping to be able to ride my bike a lot this year. Uh, that hasn't happened. Last year I was able to mow my lawn and do a number of household chores. That hasn't happened. Um, it's difficult sitting on the sidelines watching other people do the things that you feel that you should be able to do. Um, I was also uh, had to resign my position. I retired because of medical reasons. I was at the doctor way too much and it turned out that was a good choice because I also ended up this spring having um, kidney surgery and that was a two-month recovery so I've been laid low and um, a lot of things have changed for me this year and quite frankly um, I'm not sure about my prospects about walking again as I said in the last video I am having a procedure done later in September that may allow me to begin to use the prosthesis again. But there's also a chance that I won't be a candidate for that procedure or the procedure won't work. So I'm sort of uh, faced with that reality in the back of my mind that this might be my permanent home. Now let's say that's a struggle for me. You know, on the internet, you see a lot of videos and stories about amputees who are doing marvelous things. They're running marathons, they're climbing mountains, you name it, and there's somebody doing it. And while those kind of uh, videos are encouraging to me, like, yeah, I need to keep working and striving to gain back whatever I can, I think the reality is that's a small percentage of amputees that can obtain that level of mobility. We're all familiar with a bell curve. It starts out slow, low numbers, goes up to the peak, and then it drops back down to low numbers again at the end. And those people with high mobility, I think, are at the beginning of that bell curve. They're the high achievers that are able to get a great fit and, and nothing goes wrong and they're able to do a lot of wonderful things. But the vast majority of amputees are over here in this big part of this bell curve uh, with varying levels of mobility. And you see them being able to do certain things, but maybe not as much as you know the sports people do. Um, but then you also have people at the tail end the people down at the bottom of that bell curve um, that for whatever reason, whether it's because of a, a physical issue, medical reasons, or maybe even lack of funds, they're not able to get a prosthesis that works for them. And so their mobility and what they're able to do is much more limited. And um, last year, 2014 I had a working prosthesis and I was somewhere in the middle of that large group of uh, amputees with mobility I was able to to go uh, in the woods last fall and winter hunting I was able to snow blow during the winter and shovel my own driveway with the snow and mow during the summer I was able to, to get out and to do a lot of things and this year I haven't been able to do that and I'm looking at the fact that I may not be able to. And I'll have to say that's a struggle. You know, we all struggle, I think, with identity. Uh, guys my age start to have that identity crisis. Especially as they retire, they don't have that identity of this is who I am because of what I do. Um, but then it's even worse, I think, personally, when physically you're also limited. So now I no longer work. I don't have that identity. 
but physically I'm limited to where I can't do the chores I used to do around the house. Where do I fit in? And what's my value as a person? Um, what are my hopes and dreams and can I live without the ability to do some of those things? That, that's a, a struggle, I guess you would talk about the uh, uh, just enjoying life. And, and am I able to enjoy life? Um, it's a hard blow. And it's a difficult thing. And at the same time, while I'm struggling, part of me knows it doesn't really matter. Yes, I desperately would love to walk again and to be able to regain a lot of activities. I've even put a number of things mentally in my mind on hold for this year but I'm figuring I'll be able to do them next year. Um, but that may not be. And yet I realize that despite my circumstances and despite the limitations that I have, I can still be happy. I can still enjoy life. I'm very grateful uh, for the mobility I, I do have. I'm able to get down my own ramp, load myself into um, my truck, and I can go work out at the gym. I take my wheelchair along, obviously, and uh, sometimes I have a little trouble finding a way to get to some of the machines and some of the weight stations that I want to get to, but I'm able to go work out and to burn off some of that energy, and it gives me a feeling of accomplishment as well. So, you know, there's still a lot of good things in life. I'm still able to go out and enjoy family, but things are different, things are changing, and uh, it is a struggle. And I'll have to say I'm so thankful for my faith in Jesus Christ, in the goodness of God, uh, despite everything that's happened to me. I've not given up that hope and that peace, and I know that whatever happens to me will end up it has the possibility of being something good. Uh, I realize that since my amputation in 2013, God's used this in my life for my benefit. I'm not a perfect person, uh, but He's given me a lot of challenges, and uh, I'm grateful for the support I've gotten, not only from God, but also from family, and uh, especially my wife. And uh, they've taken up a lot of slack for me, along with friends. And so I appreciate uh, all the help that I've gotten to maintain as much uh, independence and mobility as I have. And I'm looking forward, hopefully, to regaining some of that. But if I don't, I'll struggle with it but I'll be okay with it.